My first artist study is tomorrow. I'm tabling at Metro Comic Con, which is a Melbourne-based convention. I think last year was actually the first year it had ever run, which means this is the second year. But yeah, it'll be my first time tabling in Artist Alley. I've gone to a lot of conventions, bought a bunch of stuff at Artist Alleys. I've done like commissions before, but I've never physically sold my art stuff at all. And yes, we've got Bathroom Echo because it's the only place with like natural lighting right now. Um, but yeah, so I'm excited, but also really nervous. Obviously, like, there's always the possibility that we don't even, like, cover costs. This is <laughs> a very expensive table. Um, I've signed up, I've, I'm doing three events this year over the past, over the coming months. Um, and this was definitely the most expensive. Also, um, you know, there's gonna be, like, travel and parking costs and stuff. So, yeah. Like, basically, I'm not really expecting to make profit. I'm just hoping to cover costs for this one. Uh, either way, it's going to be a learning experience and I'm sure it'll be a lot of fun and we'll get to meet um, people and all of that good stuff. My partner and my little sibling are helping out. So today um, I'll be going to set up my table. I've been spending like two weeks intensely getting ready for the con in various ways. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Uh, haven't made table yet, but am on track to, so I think it is, it's definitely possible that I will at least break even. So, not bad. I'm, like, pretty happy with today because, you know, made quite a number of sales, got to talk to a bunch of people, um, and all that good stuff. Uh, and I guess what makes it more difficult too is it's a very quiet convention, like, especially in comparison to something like Oz Comic Con. Metro is, like, dead. Um... Very, very quiet. Not particularly impressive as a convention. I have some other events coming up uh, that I expect might be a bit busier. Um, so it'll be interesting to compare them, especially since this is, is like the most expensive table. But you know, I had a good day nonetheless. So all good experience regardless. Uh, I guess especially... Um, when I do my other events and see how those go. Uh, if this convention continues, I don't know whether I would apply again, but we'll see how tomorrow goes. We'll say I sold out of all of my small crochet bees, so that's kind of cool. I completely sold out of something um, and did get make multiple sales of a few other items, um, sticker books and certain designs. Um, but yeah, the small crochet bees were really a hit. Even the people who didn't buy them, a lot of people were stopping and looking at them uh, by it before they went. So I'll definitely have to make more of those. Uh, yeah, yeah, people seem to be really interested in crochet stuff at the moment. I know crochet seems to have really popped off and had a bit of a resurgence in the past year. But yeah, also I have some cool table neighbors. Um, so yeah, <laughs> a bit weird though that like, we have a completely empty tables opposite us and like they're not even on the map so clearly the convention like i guess wasn't able to sell them so there's just a bunch of empty tables opposite us which isn't great for us either like it makes our aisle look kind of dead and makes people less likely to come down it so yeah a lot of things i think working against the people in my row uh, there's just like three tables along and then the three tables opposite us are completely empty um so had some weird moments like somewhat some guy just going and sitting down and eating his lunch at what's very clearly a vendor table even if it's empty but you know yeah and there's been some other little things as well 
with the convention. Uh, <laughs> so overall, very, very quiet uh, and some issues with its organization. Uh, but yeah, having a good time nonetheless. I'm very exhausted, so time to go collapse until I have to go to sleep. <laughs> almost a week later i crashed so hard sunday night i was so exhausted and i'm still so exhausted because i had to get up monday morning for work for the first day of term and i've been working you know full time all week teaching so i haven't had a break so i'm very exhausted but let's wrap up metro first of all i covered all my costs so we hit that main goal, even like went slightly over cost, but only like slightly, so I didn't really make a profit. But I covered the table, which was really expensive, and definitely I don't think worth it for the current size of the convention. Uh, it's definitely a lot smaller and has a lot less foot traffic than other pop culture conventions in Melbourne, so if like the price stays the same, that would definitely make me second guess um, applying again. Uh, but I covered the table, I covered parking, and I covered the toll expense because toll roads were the second biggest expense next to the table. So yeah, so I sold enough that I covered all those expenses. So that's great. And I did have a lot of fun, although uh, yeah, there were a lot of issues with the convention itself over the weekend, uh, which again, that's why I don't know um, how I would feel about going to the effort of tabling there specifically again but like even though the convention itself had issues uh and and such and you know obviously I didn't actually make like profit I covered my costs and I did have fun I had a fun weekend I got to meet a bunch of people um I met a bunch of like other artists and you know I always love like going to artist alleys as well so I got to look around at everyone else's cool art I didn't take much footage throughout the weekend because I was kind of just like existing in the moment more so but yeah but I did have a good time and it was also really validating in that like people actually want to buy my art um I guess some interesting like things to note in terms of like best sellers uh as I mentioned I sold out of my small bees on Saturday I did make a couple of more on the Sunday and they lasted on the table all of like 20 minutes before they were snatched up so they were a big hit um I did also end up selling all of my chunky bees and I also had a chunky cat so all of everything I had crocheted sold over the weekend so that's a big hit. I also sold out of my reusable sticker books that have my soot sprite design on it and I also sold out of my Huntress print so my best selling print was Huntress. An assortment of other things and stickers and charms and like I actually like yeah obviously it wasn't a very busy con so it's not like I sold an excess of things, but I sold enough that like I'm chuffed and I'm just so excited that people like my art and I got so many compliments from people over the weekend and you know as someone who's never sold my art before in this kind of context, it was amazing to have that validation as an artist, especially someone who's always kind of done this on the side as a hobby um, and so it's always been that bit of a thing of like you know, do you call yourself an artist? And at what stage do you call yourself an artist? And realistically, like, if you make art of any kind, you're an artist. But it's like, yeah, this was just validating in that way, you know? Um, also, my sibling got me this little bee necklace to, like, celebrate my first artist alley because they were helping me all weekend. And they had a bee-themed bee outfit on the Saturday. So yeah, so I have a lot more crocheting to do before Animaga. My next convention is Animaga, so it was also a great experience and I have a lot of ideas to carry forth into my next events now. So I'll be tabling at Animaga, which is an anime convention in Melbourne in August. Yeah, so I had fun, it was a great experience. I covered my costs, uh, but yeah, the convention itself had issues. And yeah, especially since there were a number of artists I spoke to who haven't covered their costs or have only covered their costs because they shared a table with someone so like I was so I guess I was lucky in that respect that I covered everything and not everyone did again because the convention had issues and because there wasn't 
a great deal of foot traffic and things like that. Yeah, but I had a good time, so... Uh, I, I guess that's it for today. Um, TT Fen, stars you out. <laughs>